We have the three top performing impact drivers from the biggest names in the professional tool industry. But which one is actually the strongest? Thanks for clicking on our video. We hope you enjoy it. While you're here, consider helping us out by hitting the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. And when you finish watching this video, check out our comparison of impact drivers versus impact wrenches. This test is about one thing, proving which of these massively popular impact drivers has the most muscle. Let's start by taking a quick look at our test rig. We welded grade eight hardened bolts onto angle iron and we're gonna be fastening matching grade eight hardened nuts onto it. All told, our rig can handle up to 500 foot pounds of torque before the threads begin to fail. That's 6,000 inch pounds and we're pretty sure none of these impact drivers will come too close to that. To fit a socket this big, we need a half inch square drive adapter and we're using Makita's XPS adapters to get the job done. Makita designs these specifically for high torque impact drivers and we've had good success with them. This kind of hard stop test that we're running is gonna be a good challenge for them though. Before we get started, here's a look at our three contenders. From DeWalt, we have the DCF887. It's a three-speed model that maxes out at 3,250 RPM with 3,600 impacts per minute and 1,825 inch-pounds of torque. It also serves as the foundation for DeWalt's DCF888 that includes Tool Connect. Makita's XDT16 is the most compact impact driver in this professional 18-volt class and has performed consistently well in our tests. As Makita's most advanced model, it tops out at 3,600 RPM, delivers 3,800 impacts per minute, and has 1,600 inch-pounds of torque. The Milwaukee 2853 is the third generation M18 fuel impact driver, and it's just a millimeter longer than Makita's XDT16. The strongest of the group on paper, it boasts 2,000 inch-pounds of torque to go with its 3,600 RPM top speed and 4,300 impacts per minute. If you like smart controls, it's the base of Milwaukee's 2857 impact driver with one key. To keep things as fair as we can, we're going to run fully charged 5 amp hour batteries in all three tools. Now if you've seen our impact driver shootout from a while back, this is the same fastening torque test we've been using for years. We'll snug up the nut and then hit it with full power for 5 seconds. Next, we'll use a digital torque wrench to see how much force it takes to break the nut. Now that's not the same torque value as how much force the impact driver put into the rig, but it does give us a measurable value to compare. And to make sure we don't get any flukes, we'll test them all five times and take the average, throwing out any statistical outliers. All right, let's take a look at those torque numbers. And with all three impact drivers, the second test came in much lower, so we tossed that result in our averages. For DeWalt's efforts, it took a maximum of 1,735 inch-pounds to break that nut loose, and an average of 1,667 inch-pounds. Now, as we get going, just remember that this was in the middle for power of our three impact drivers. Makita comes in a bit higher, needing a maximum of 2,016 inch-pounds of torque to break it, and an average of 1,801 inch-pounds. And what's interesting is that its specifications were about 225 inch-pounds lower than DeWalt's. Milwaukee easily had the most torque on paper and it gave us some trouble. We kept snapping adapters and we actually had to switch them out in order to get some good numbers. Even with that, we still broke our adapter on the last test. So what we're qualifying is that we had to switch adapters and our average comes from just three tests instead of four like the others. Now, after all that, it's no surprise to find the Milwaukee's on top of the charts needing a maximum of 2,228 inch-pounds to break its efforts and an average of 2,030 inch-pounds. That brings into question just how much torque is too much torque, at least in hard stop applications like the way we tested. Check out our video on that one. For the purposes of our question that we started with, it's clear that Milwaukee's M18 Fuel 2853 is the strongest of these three impressive impact drivers. If you have any questions or feedback for us, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Help us out by subscribing to our channel below. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that like button and turn on notifications to stay up to date on our latest videos.